Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol JCS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. I'm not sure what I mean by 30 minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Quite the eventful day on this one, not only from the price action standpoint, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one moving forward. Although as of right now, this thing is looking like just one big old gap and trap. Now, what do I mean by gap and trap in case you're new to trading? Well, on Monday, the price closed there. And then this morning, the price opened up there. Hence, one is known as a gap up. In this situation, a very nice gap up, very big gap up. And then to give credit or credit to, after the opening bell rang, the price did make a nice move up to that area. But that's also where things got absolutely savage because there was a bunch of poor souls buying right here. And then down the price went. And then things got <laughs> extra savage because then all of a sudden the, the chart acted like it wanted to make another run, made a move up to there. Some poor souls were once again buying up around this area. And then you can see from that point, just essentially straight down. So a savage, savage move, and which now brings about what I would definitely call a muscled area of support, which sits down there at $6.50. And why is that at such an important level? And I'm not saying at all that this is what's gonna actually happen, but just for explanation sake, if the price were to come down to 650, behave in that manner, and then continue on down, what would you have at that point? You would quite literally have the price having gone right back inside of this big old range that it just broke out from. And I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true power, true strength, or anything like that. To be fair, though, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. But yeah, in my opinion, that's why 650 is definitely a very important level. Now, in the event the price decides it wants to turn itself around and head back upwards, first key area of resistance is going to be right there at the $8 mark. And then after $8, next key level after that, right up there around $9.50. So keep riding those couple of areas moving forward. But all in all, any angle you look at it, great volume, crazy price movement, and we'll see uh, how things play out moving forward. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.